Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to make a six piece ephemera set. It's going to be tags and pockets and we're doing it with cardstock and book page. And it's going to be a little grungy. So hopefully they'll turn out okay. Hopefully everybody will like them. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And if you like my video, I just ask that you give me a thumbs up. So I have my pieces all inked. Inked the flowers a little bit. This is going to be like um, a side tuck or a side pocket. And this is gonna be the tag that goes inside of it. Now, what I did with this stuff is I tore the cardstock some of it was kind of hard to tear because it's it's stiff but we're gonna give it a whirl i'm gonna start doing more stuff with book page so we'll see how that goes so i'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing them down this shouldn't be a real long video shouldn't be is the key words The book page is out of a real old, I want to say it's like stage plays or something. That's the book that they're out of. I thought the color of the page and the background went together good. All I'm pretty much going to be doing is assembling the stuff. Now this is a tag, so for my little toppers, I'm going to have circles. Well, I may have to put them on the side. I have to see the. it might be too long to go underneath the pocket. So we'll see. And these I cut out with the paper punch. These I kind of freehanded. So they're not all so real round. And I think this will have to go on the side, which will be just fine. So I'm going to glue the first one on. And then I'll have to make for sure that I have it, have the book page going the right way when I glue the back on it. I thought this would just be a different kind of project. Now on the back of these, because this is plain, if you use dark ink, you'll be able to see it. If you want to put paper on the back of it to make it um, a little bit lighter, well, you can also do that. I'm not going to put anything on the back. It would just be whatever your preference is. So I think that as a tab looks good. And then you would just glue the three sides down and tuck it under there. I should have had this up just a little tiny bit. But, you know, I don't, I don't guess there's a rule saying it has to be higher. I'm going to put this flower on here. And then this is a, um, daff um, a dandelion. But I don't want this to hang down here by itself. So I'm going to put the dandelion over it. But first, before I forget what I'm doing here... I'm going to put a little bit of lace on each one, whether it be on the side <clears throat> or the top. Excuse me a minute. Hmm, had to cough. Whether it be on the side or the top of the tag. 
and on the pockets I just want to put a little bit of lace on to dress it up just so even though it's going to have flowers on it just so it doesn't look so so bland because the background is dark so we'll just put some down through here and we'll let it fall how it falls gotta make sure i have the right side some of this lace is kind of hard to tell which is right and which is wrong i think this is the right side i'm just going to drape it over the end and then i'll trim it to fit and i have a nice glue string there And even though you're not going to see a lot of the lace, well, I'll still know it's there. Then I'll go ahead and do that on the pocket, and then we'll glue our flowers on. It doesn't matter if it's completely on the paper or if it's, you know, the book page or if it's to the edge. It just, it doesn't really matter. just might give it a little extra something nope guess I didn't get no glue there there we go Okay, now on this one, I'm going to have this little leafy flower up here, and I'm going to have the dandelion down below. I didn't have a flower that was long enough, so a couple of these, I'm using a couple different flowers together just to fill in. And it works good doing that. So I'm just going to put it down about there. So it'll just be something like that. And I think that'll look okay. And then over here, we're going to have um, the little daisy. Put that up just a little higher. And then we'll put this over it. Kind of want it to just cover the uh, the stem. Oops! I'm getting glue on my fingers. Because I keep squeezing glue onto my fingers. Okay, and that can overlap that tab a little bit, and that'll be just fine. So that is our first pocket set, pocket and tag. Okay. 
Okay, now on this one, this is going to be my pocket. Yeah, see, Act 3. So this is out of a book of plays. I'll go ahead and put the tab on. We'll glue this one on. Right around in there somewhere. I like using these circles lately with for the tabs also. I think it, I shouldn't have put all that glue on there. I think it makes it look a little different. I like it. And when you journal on the back, you still have the book page up there to see. So that looks good. This grungy stuff is a little bit different for me. I don't generally do a lot of grungy. But I liked the idea. So I thought we would give it a whirl. Trying to come up with different things. And these flowers are not all the same colors. They're different, different hues in that, but it's fall. It's well, it's still summer, almost fall, but still I have all all different color flowers. So, having the different flowers on these don't bother me. I like having a variety. Just kind of cover that over a little bit and that looks good I think I didn't put my my lace on before I put my flowers on so I think seeing how I didn't do that I'll just run my lace down here on the side more I could run it over there on that side because there's a little bit more room. I don't know. I always have this thing. It's got to be on a certain side. I don't know why. Or do I want it on the bottom? I don't want it on the top. Yeah, I don't want it on the bottom. I'll just run some down this side. It'll be just fine. It won't matter if it covers up the flower a little bit. That was a lot of glue. Definitely a lot of glue.
Sometimes I get in a hurry and forget what I'm supposed to be doing. So I think that'll be all right. And then I'm gonna put some down here. Hopefully I can form it around here. I can just maybe cut it a little tiny bit. Well, actually, I can just cut it. We'll go with that. And then we'll just go with that. And that will work. Just that back up there a little bit. Maybe I should only run it across the top. Maybe I should do that. I'll just run it across the top because I don't think I like that. Okay, so I fixed it. It's only on the top now. So now that's the tag and the pocket. They just glue down two sides. If you absolutely think you need to glue up a little bit, I would only glue a little on this side. So that's that set. Okay. Now on this set, we have another pocket. Well, each set is a pocket and a tag. They're just different sizes. When we get done, if I can remember, I can tell you the size of the pockets and tags. Okay, so this is just a little dandelion leaf, so I'm going to put that on there. Okay, and then this one's just going to have this flower. also make a lot of these you have all of your different papers I mean you don't have to tear the pockets and the tags you can cut them you can use the fancy scissors and cut them or if you have a lighter weight paper you can tear them that was kind of hard or that was kind of heavy for tearing but I had started so I didn't want to stop midway through and waste the paper so I just kept going so just to make tags and 
and pockets for your journals or whatever you're using them for. They don't have to be super fancy. You can just cut them right out or tear them out and decorate them up. Well, there I go again. I put my flowers on before I put my my lace on, but it can go over top. It'll be fine. Then let me see, where do I want it on this? I actually think I'd like it on the bottom. Hopefully it'll be alright when it goes in and out of the pocket when it's when it's when the pocket is glued down have to make sure that you get the lace completely glued down. Once it's glued down all the way, then it would be all right. Just cut that little bit off. Just want to make each one a little tiny bit different. Doesn't always work that way though. Okay, and then that little one would fit under there. And you'd glue three sides down. All right, and then this is our last one. So I might as well just glue these down there right here. Some of them are a little odd shaped, a little oblong, some are a little rounder, some are a little oval. This could be considered a mini. Just going to go ahead and put the tab on it. I'm just going to put this little leaf here on. Let me see about my lace. I think I want this one on the bottom also. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I want to get glue all over my my thing. Just 
I'll just trim that off a little bit. Now, I'll just put my little flower on it, and it's just like a little sprig. I had to find something tiny for this and the pocket. The pocket, the little um, greenery stuff is going on the pocket in pieces. Okay, so there's that. I haven't been making too much ephemera lately, it seems like. So I have to get back into making ephemera. All right, now with these, well, let me do my, let me do my, um, lace. I want my lace at the top. I want it to go across there. And, you know, this is just ripped kind of at weird angles, but it'll be all right. It's definitely not straight. That doesn't really have to be either. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight or perfectly square. Okay, now I'm just going to glue these as I go. Oh, I have, I have lace stuck to my finger. I thought I had like a longer kind of skinny piece of greenery and I was going to put it across here, but I couldn't find it. So, we'll just improvise and just glue them down. So what do you think? Is it too grungy? So that's my pocket. And then the little tag would just go underneath. So I'll bring them all back in here and we can look at them. So here's the little baby. I have to make sure that I'm in view of the camera. And then here's this one. Because these are heavy, they just kind of bend a little bit after putting the glue on them. And there's this one. And then we have the side one. So there we go. So let me know what you think. Yay or nay. And then I hope you stop back for my next video, whatever that might be. And until then, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye for now.